What's going on guys? Today we're gonna be changing the water on the pond. So you can see the, the pond has gotten very dirty. I'm not 100% sure why this keeps happening, um, but every time it does, the filter comes up. And I think it might be because I've been throwing in a little bit too much food and it makes the water green. It usually, it was crystal clear a couple days ago, but it just turns dark like overnight. Um, a, couple, a few days ago, I did see that it was a little bit greener than usual. Um, but not not like this. This is pitch black. I can't even see the turtle when it's three inches under the surface um, So I'm not a hundred percent sure why it happens, but it happens every maybe a couple a few weeks every few weeks It happens. Um, I think it might be the food. It might just be when it rains whenever I noticed it's been raining a lot too So it could be that um, I also threw in a bunch of fish into this so it could also be that there's a lot of different uh, Possibilities that it could have been you can see all the fish are eating it uh, the food over there so um not sure but i'm gonna have to go get uh three hoses i already have them around the house my dad's using one right now so i can't do it right now um but because the wall water is all the way on the other side of the yard so i gotta bring the extension all the way over here so that i can change the water um wall water is dechlorinated so it's completely healthy for the fish and for the turtles so when i put it when i change the water the fish aren't gonna die if I use the regular hose, all the fish would die because I can't swap it out. The turtles would be fine, but um, I, I do want the fish to survive. So I'm going to have to go to the other side and get it extended. I've also noticed that the filter floats whenever this happens. I don't know if that's what causes it, that the filter comes up and then maybe not enough water goes through so it doesn't come out. So I'm going to put a rock or something under after I swap out the water so that uh, the filter doesn't come up anymore. And the weirdest part is that the baby snapping turtle pond does not get dirty at all and this one has no filters so and as you can see i throw in a lot of food in here as well so i have no idea why the other one gets green and this one doesn't it stays crystal clear and i, I don't have a filter and at first i was just doing water changes but i don't even do them anymore because it doesn't get dirty it doesn't smell bad or anything so it's been clean uh i don't know why but that's a good thing i guess all right so i had to go buy some more hoses because we didn't have enough at the house. My dad took the other one. So let's go back and set this up so that we can change the water. All right, so here's the new hose. Let's put this bad boy in here so that we could get some fresh dechlorinated water in there for the turtles and the fish. Now we connect this one over here so we could get an extendo hose. All right, now the last hose. I'm gonna put this bad boy in as well. And this is the last one. So the hose comes all the way over here. And here are all the turtles. And you can see the filter float, uh, came back up again. Look at Godzilla, this boy is getting huge. And this water is pretty cold, I don't know why, but this is a big boy right here and he's pretty friendly. He's never tried to bite me. But yeah, let's open this up. I'm gonna take it about halfway and then I'm gonna start switching the water. And I wanna do it gradually so that all the fish get acclimated to the water and they don't all get shocked and get killed. First thing I wanna do is open this up here. Take it out right there. Let's put Godzilla and this guy in the water so that they don't stay up here and then fall when it's deep. And I almost forgot, I want to put this in front of the hole so that no fish or any of the animals get out here. I gotta find it first. This is gonna prevent any fish from getting out. There's some really pretty fish in here. Um, all of these are feeders, but you can see them all swimming around a little bit. Look at that little white one right there. I think that once this is uh, completely clear, I'm gonna get some of the prettier goldfish and put them inside in the tank that I have. All right, so you can see Godzilla and some of the Indian spotted turtles are sticking their heads out back there. And now I'm just gonna start turning the other hose on because it's already pretty low. Still a good amount left, a couple inches until the until it's completely like at its minimum because the hole is right there. But it looks like this was on top of a rock or something. This is completely floating on top of the water. I'm not sure why, uh, but we gotta, we gotta get that fixed. I'm gonna have to put a rock or something on top of it because this is starting to float a lot and there were a lot of leaves in here so that might just be why the water turned green. You can see there's a lot more over there and I took out a good amount as well. 
All right, here we go. I'm washing off the edge, just scrubbing it down a little bit, making sure that it's nice and clean so that all of this can get cleaned off. Like I said, this water is completely safe for these guys, so it's great. And it's already this, around the same temperature as that, so I don't even have to worry about the acclimation process too much. But yeah, now all we gotta do is wait till it fills up. All right, so the water is already starting to clear up. I'm gonna have to move the hose back here so that it starts throwing out more of the water over here, because you can see where the hose was. It's already crystal clear. But uh, Godzilla's over there, I guess, being watchman, waiting for all the fish to come into the little hole so that he could eat them. But it's already starting to clear up. I'll probably have this open for a couple more minutes, and that's it. But look at all the goldfish over there. Now, after this, when it's completely clear, I'm gonna do a quick little check to see what is in this pond because I don't have, uh, I don't know exactly what's in here anymore. I have some apple snails. We got obviously the turtles. I know that some turtles are in here. Um, the other, there's seven Indian spotted turtles. I don't know if there's any more great uh, crayfish or any more tilapia in here because the turtles do eat them. And I haven't seen either of them in a while, but I'll probably come out tonight as well and make sure because uh, they are nocturnal. So I'll probably be able to see the crayfish and all that. So right now I am acting as a watch guard because you can see I built like this little dam here and there is some fish that are getting out. Uh, I guess the smaller ones that fit through the mesh, but I'm just catching these guys and just throwing them back in the pond so that they don't die here. Um, so it's not a, too many of them, but a few have been getting out and they are a little bit tricky to catch with one hand, but there we go. Got another one. So yeah, I'm probably, the water's already coming out decently clear. You can see right here, they get stuck at this part. So this is where I catch them. So yeah, I guess these guys got a little bit curious and uh, you know what happens to a cat when they get curious. Let's throw these all the way in there. There's only a few more. Oh my God, this one's fast here. I don't want to throw any trash in here and then there's this little white one put that guy over there and it looks like that's all the fish looks like that's all of them already i'm gonna close it off and check one more time but i'm pretty sure that we are good all right so one more fish escaped while i was getting the little thing to close this but let's put this in and we'll catch them after so that no more get out all right so this water level gets low pretty fast Look at him trying to get into this little cave. All right, there we go. Toss him back in there. So yeah, this water looks like there's nothing in here. I'm gonna check again. Open up. There is one in here. It's over there, and one over there. That might actually just be the water. But there's definitely one little fish right here. There we go. So we'll toss them back in there. And if they die inside of the pond, it's not as big a deal because then the turtles would just eat them. But here's the other one. Oh. Now obviously I'm not grabbing these guys too hard because they're a little bit uh, weak. But. I think we are good now. It doesn't look like this anymore. Anywhere in here. All right. Look at this beautiful little guy right here. Look at him. It's probably a girl actually. Yeah, it's a girl. But uh, she's so pretty. I love this species so much. These are Indian spotted turtles. These guys are endangered in their natural habitat. And they're still too young to reproduce, but Hopefully in a few years, I'll be able to reproduce some of these guys and help out with some of the conservation. And then we have Godzilla right here. And this guy, he's not endangered or anything. This guy's just a pet that I've had for a long time. And yeah, I love this guy. He's super cool. I've, I got him when he was just a little hatchling. He was like this big and he's grown so much since, as you can see. So I have a new theory as to why this keeps getting lifted up. And I think that it's because of this right here. These guys keep getting under it. So I'm guessing that they go scavenging and they start digging and then it just lifts it up. 
up and little by little and then when it reaches the surface it gets full of air and then it just floats there so i'm pretty sure that it's the turtles that are making this happen and there we go look how clear the water is starting to look now and it's gonna get even more clear now with the filter but look at all the goldfish on there you can just see a whole cloud oh and look at the snail sticking out completely so i'm gonna go get some underwater footage later on but um the water when it was really green it doesn't the, doesn't really bother the turtles too much the turtles like the dark murky water like that uh they don't like it super clear either um but obviously that was like completely dirty i didn't want it that dirty a little bit is all right um but i rather keep it clean for them and not like super clean because it's actually bad for their skin uh to an extent you know so as you can see this guy has some healthy skin he looks very good and before when i had him indoors in a tank he actually had some blisters down here and i think that's just because the water was a little bit too clean but the murky water actually is very beneficial for them and even if i had mud i couldn't put mud in here because it would just be basically a, a black pond at that point so i didn't put mud i just put rocks but those rocks still get all the algae and they could scavenge through it and just swim around in it and it's beneficial to them uh it got a little bit too green and that's the only reason why i changed it usually when it's like a little bit green it's all right and i just leave it like that but anyways i'm gonna turn this off now and let them be for a little bit then i'll go get the case and we'll go underwater all right so it's already nighttime as you can see and i want to sneak up on the people over here and see what's going on looks like a bunch of the turtles are out all the goldfish are swimming around the snails are all going around and i don't know if you guys can see that big old snail right there i got that guy when he was super small he was probably the size of a quarter and he's getting huge eventually he'll end up like that big one over there but um yeah i just wanted to see if there was much more activity at night i have some crayfish in here which are nocturnal and i have my new pet there that i promised i was going to tell you guys about in my last video so uh i'm not sure i'm gonna see i i got some videos of him now and i'm gonna pull him out real quick so that i can show you not out of the water i'll just pull him out of that rock and i'll show you a little bit of him but as you can see there's still a ton of goldfish and I don't know if you could tell but the water is super clear right now um let me see if i could slow this down a bit i'm holding a flashlight so it's a little bit tough but there we go look at that water it's crystal clear i could see everything perfectly it's like if you cover this it's like if there's no water at all it looks beautiful and um i'm kind of stupid the whole water change was pointless uh what ended up happening i didn't really record it after but after the water change in two days the water got exactly the same and i just pulled out the filter washed it and put it back in the next day it was like this crystal clear so all i had to do was change the filter um or not change it just clean it and it uh as you can see it worked perfectly so for next time i know that's all i gotta do i don't have to do a whole water change um but whatever it's done these guys got some fresh water so that's always good you know um the last time i had changed it before was probably like a month before and look how pretty the water looks there i like how it reflects there but yeah it was like a month since the last water change that's all right i like to do it um maybe every month or so so that these guys could get some clean water and look at godzilla just jumping out right there so let's see i don't think this guy's aggressive um never been bit by him i don't know if he has teeth I don't really know too much about him if I'm being perfectly honest but there he is coming out there these guys are very fast but look at that it's like a, sn like a snake and he has gotten huge since I put him in here actually I don't know if he's been eating the goldfish or maybe the pellets he might have ate one of the crayfish that were in here um but yeah that, that guy got big might be able to see him right there and let's just pull him out right here Hopefully this can get away. This guy's a little bit slippery. There we go. Very slippery boy right here. But here he is. And now nobody was able to guess what this guy is in the comments. Right there. So I'm about to tell you what he is. Let's pull him out real quick. And look, this is what I want to show you right here. Back here. You can see he has two more little legs. You can see he just popped them out right there. All right, there they are. You can kind of see when he's swimming away. It's so hard to record this guy, especially that he's nocturnal. So he's only out at night. And there they are. 
they were his little legs right there so yeah a lot of people were guessing that he's an eel but he is actually not he's an ampiuma ampiuma um he's a type of salamander all right so that is a three-toed ampiuma and those guys could get up to four feet in length so they get very big they are salamanders like i mentioned so they are amphibians but they're mostly aquatic they like to spend most of their time in the water and they rarely ever get out of the water so they don't really bask or anything like that like the turtles um they just chill underwater most of the time and sometimes if it rains they'll move from one like body of water to another but obviously we don't want him getting out of the pond because then he's not going to be with us anymore but um yeah so those guys they got four little legs you saw the two back ones and then he has two like in the front like right under his neck um so yeah they got four legs three toes obviously because it's a three-toed amphiuma and i'm not sure if those guys are invasive here i'm pretty sure they are like i was doing some research about them um they are from uh, like the eastern u.s but mostly in like louisiana north carolina south carolina and all that so i'm obviously like i'm in the south point of florida and i searched up the fwc website said that they were introduced in like 2008 or something so i am guessing that they are invasive here in south florida there's a lot of like i've been looking for as much information as i can online but i haven't really found too much they're, they're kind of mysterious animals but yeah they are the longest salamander in north america um and yeah they're pretty dope they're carnivorous they'll eat like fish and worms and small animals that they can fit in their mouth and eat and yeah he's gonna be pretty cool not sure if I'm gonna, you guys are going to be seeing much of him because he is nocturnal and he likes to hide under the rocks. Um, he doesn't have good vision and I don't want to be taking him out during the day too much because I don't know if that bothers him or not. I'm sure the light does bother him a little bit. Um, so I'm not going to be recording him too much because obviously to record you need light. If not, it's just going to be a dark video. Um, so probably not going to see too much of him, but I definitely wanted to introduce you guys to him. So if you guys want to pick some names, let him know in the comment section and i'm not sure on the scent on the gender for it either but yeah that's pretty much it so i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did make sure you leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike leave some comments in the comment section subscribe turn on post notifications and have a great day